Hey YouTube, we're uh, trying to get the clutch off the chainsaw here. I uh, just pressure washed it, so I want to get some grease in there uh, before anything goes rusty. Um, this is an echo top handle CS3400. Um, still has a better clutch design because they're faced the other way. You can pull the snap ring off, a little washer off. Pull the sprocket off, push some grease in the needle bearing and put it back together. But this, they do it like this so they can move the bar more into the center of the saw for balance. Um, it is a good idea. Uh, Huskies are like that, Husqvarna, uh, and I guess Echoes. Um, but it's harder to grease the needle bearing in there. So I want to get her done because this saw sees quite a bit of abuse. First you got to figure out which way the saw turns. You can see the crankshaft is in there so the crankshaft's turning that way so if you just kind of hold the clutch you can figure out which way it will tighten burning nice coffee with cream so now I need to find a little piece of rope All right, a little piece of rope here, got the spark plug out of it. So what you want to do is turn it over so the piston's as far down as you can get it. And uh, try to twist some of your rope in there. Don't stick it in so you can't get it out. Anyways. There you go. Now that's jammed the piston. So when it turns, it goes that way. We want to knock it in the same direction. Be careful you don't bend your crankshaft. That's it. One little broken clip here. Inside of there. A teeny little needle bearing and she's bone dry. Let it get dirty. wheel bearing grease grass off of it more grass Filler full of grease, smear it around, put your finger over it, you push it in and it will push the grease out between the needles. And uh, put it back together. Engine spinning, it, it wants to tighten the clutch. So don't forget to like and subscribe.